Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we're going to be playing with Serenite Arlo. She is the last of our ten children in our massive family tree to start a life of her own. Pretty sure we all know the situation by now, but our original parents who had ten children now have, I think, 16 grandchildren at this point. Every child has reproduced, which is basically the main goal of this entire Let's Play. With the exception of Serenity, the youngest, the final child of the Arlo family. So just like we've done for the last, what, six episodes up until now, we're going to be focusing on Serenity and her life. We're going to be getting Serenity a job, maybe we'll work on her aspiration a little bit, but the main goal of this video, as it is with all the other videos, is to expand the family. We even have a little baby room here. Serenity lives in Brindleton Bay, so we've got quite a nice spread at this point. We've got 10 kids living in various different worlds. I decided to split the younger triplets up into different worlds. You know, just spread the family far and wide. So, uh, what's your aspiration, Serenite? Soulmate. So I guess probably, well, actually no, first things first is we'll, we'll find a job. We have our degree in villainy. Pretty sure it was villainy we studied, wasn't it, Serenite? And then we'll hit the town. Oh, although it's kind of, it's like 6 a.m. Oh well, it's The Sims. We'll find plenty of people wandering the streets that we can go on a date with. So there's the boss option in the criminal career for a getaway driver. 408 simoleons an hour. Okay, that's pretty good. Is this the only job I can do? Could maybe possibly do space exploration, could do astronaut. I could be a double agent. You know what? I think we're going to go for getaway driver. I think that's a pretty good one from 8 p.m. until 3 a.m. It's always good to have one bad egg, you know? bit more realistic, restore some balance. Also, I just thought about something. All of my Sims are getting signing bonuses because they have their degrees. So does that mean if I just keep quitting jobs and getting new ones, do I could make a lot of money by doing that just from the signing bonuses, surely? Right, Serenite, we're gonna hit the town and see if we can find someone to go on a date with. She needs to do two dates for her aspiration, so let's go to the Salty Paws Saloon. Okay, pretty quiet here, uh, 5 a.m., but who knows, we might catch a few stragglers. Order favourite drink, there might be a few riffraff here left over from the night before. I know in my hometown, 5.57 a.m., there would still be people on the streets. Oh, okay, I guess I'll sit down and then the bartender will just get up and walk away. Okay, cool. Okay, I want to find out what Serenity's favourite drink is. So order your favourite drink, Serenity. Please don't just be a glass of water. That's always a letdown. It's always a bit disappointing when a Sim asks for a glass of water. Let's have something exotic, shall we? What's our favourite drink? That looks quite... Oh! Okay, that's quite a good favourite drink. Although it is a Christmas eggnog drink. But you know what? It's better than water. So I'm going to introduce myself to Janae. I'm not sure if Janae is the one, because I'm pretty sure she's got kids already. Which isn't necessarily a problem, but... I mean, we need to go on two dates for our aspiration anyway, so I may as well just ask out the first sim I see. See how the date goes. Oh, I think she might be... I think she might be unwell. Oh, well, Janae's not into me anyway. I'm flattered, but I'm not interested in that type of relationship with you. Huh, okay. Thanks, Janae. What about this guy? I feel like I'm getting a little bit desperate now, just going around asking anyone if they want to go on a date with me. Oh, I think he's, like, totally not attracted to me. He just had the thought bubble that was, like, rejecting the idea of having a crush. Ask on date? I think we should go somewhere else anyway. This place is dead. Windenburg really is the place to go for meeting other sims. So let's take him on a date somewhere in Windenburg, and then we'll see if we can find someone else we can ask on a date. Um, where should we go? Shrieking Llama's usually a pretty hot spot, isn't it? Let's go Shrieking Llama. Okay, okay. Let's try and socialise with him. I'm not too... I'm not too into this guy. I try not to go for randomly generated townies, because they probably have red flag traits. But you know what? I do want to get this aspiration, so... We'll do some interactions so we can at least hit the socialise with your date goal. But I, I definitely don't think we should give this a second date. I don't think anyone that wears, like... A furry, warm coat like that with ripped shorts probably isn't the one. But, you know, we'll just make this like a friend date, maybe. It's always good to have more friends. Ask about career. I bet he's unemployed. 
Let's go sit and talk. She's already on her phone. She's already scrolling through Tinder while she's on this date, seeing if there are any better sausages on offer. I don't blame you, Serenity. I think he's probably feeling the same way. Oh, we've already got gold from socialising. Yeah, I think he's probably feeling the same way, seeing as he hasn't even sat next to me. He just kind of snubbed me, walked straight past. But you know what? We could probably lead him on until we find a better looking sim around here. I mean, Lana seems quite nice. Although I'm concerned by her surname. It makes me think maybe she's already married. Maybe we'll just chit chat with Lana and then we'll order some food, seeing as you're pretty hungry anyway. We'll just get um, French fries. I have no idea where my date has gone. Uh, I think he's left the building. Uh, <laughs> he's not in here anymore, so I guess, I guess I'm gonna end this date now. I mean, that was, that was fine, that was a good date. It was a legendary date, apparently. Maybe we'll see if Lana wants to go on a date. Oh no, I don't think, oh, she's embarrassed. Oh, I don't think she's attracted to us either. And now she's walking away. Oh, how embarrassing. How are our needs doing? I mean, our needs are pretty good. I mean, this guy seems all right if it weren't for those fucking braids. I mean, do I even know anyone that I could invite over? I don't, we don't really have any friends that aren't just family, do we? You know what I could do? I could use my meet and mingle app, browse some profiles, and then get someone over here that I actually choose, you know, invite someone over. Agnes Crumplebottom, maybe? You know what? Stick with me here. What if we went for Caleb Vitor? We could have some vampire blood in our family. We could be like the quirky side of the family. He doesn't have any children. He's okay with having children. He does have a job. Modern life is lonely. I'd love to make some friends who have shared interests. Oh, he's only looking for platonic connections, though. You know what? Let's just go. Let's see if maybe we could change his mind. He might be interested in more of the warm-blooded varieties. Um, let's go to the Narwhal Arms. Vampires love bars. And I'm pretty sure they serve plasma juice there as well, so, you know, he'll be catered for. Oh, he's still wearing his vendor costume. <laughs> Oh, I love a man in uniform. Like, let's um, let's go and introduce ourselves. Hey, Caleb. And then maybe a uh, little flirt. Hopefully he doesn't turn down my advances. No, he seems pretty chill. He seems pretty down. Okay, ask on date. We'll just stay here, but we'll get him, we'll get him on a date, and maybe we'll we'll tick off the first page of our aspiration by getting him to be our boyfriend. Okay, off a rose. I don't want to worry about. You know, the formalities, the nicey niceies Let's just get straight into the flirting. I feel like Caleb would prefer someone being pretty forward. And also, given that he said he's only looking for platonic relationships, I kind of want to find out sooner rather than later whether I'm barking up the wrong tree here. Although I feel like he's going to change his mind. He seems pretty open to it. Things are getting pretty suggestive already. Only a few clicks in. Oh, fucking hell, Agnes. Now I see why Caleb ran away so quickly, because Agnes Crumplebottoms turned up. Ready to clout me. What are you doing? Are you getting some food? Okay, have a, f have a few crisps and then move our attention back over to Caleb because we left things on an amorous level. Oh, too many people are joining this conversation and it's making it embarrassing. Don't be embarrassed, Caleb. Be cool, okay? Be cool. Oh, I don't know what happened to amorous exchange, but we're going to have to try and build that back up now. We're on to suggestive again, so hopefully... Hopefully we can try and get this. Oh, first kiss. Hopefully we can try and get this flirty. If he would, if he would stop running away. That's one downside of wooing a vampire. They just go around hissing at people. Oh shit, this is awkward. We bumped into our last date. <laughs> oh well, we didn't have any spark. I'm sure he won't mind. Oh, just a little kiss. Okay, things are getting pretty steamy. Ask to be boyfriend. There we go. Now he's flirty. We just need to get our... Oh, woohoo in bush. Okay, we'll ask him if he wants to woohoo. Ask him if he wants to go find a bush somewhere. Oh, now they're both in a flirty mood. And I think this is where the date is going, you know. I think we're off to go woohoo in a bush. And once we're finished with that, we will have completed the first page of our aspiration. Come on, Caleb, take that apron off. Let me wear it. Oh, break out the candles, make it romantic. Oh, that's another milestone to go down in the milestone book. No protection was used. Okay, somehow though, we don't have, um... We don't have gold for this date, but we got gold for the date that was a total flop, so... 
I guess we'll just try and... We'll try and do a couple of things just to try and get this date into the gold you territory. Are. Make a vampire pun. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. He'll find it fantastic, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, yeah, we'll tell a few jokes. She's getting into a pretty bad mood now, but I'm sure we can get gold on this. Okay, I think that's about as much as I can do, so I'm going to end this date. We've completed our milestone, we just have to get married to our BFF. I think it might be a bit too soon for marriage. I'm going to send you home now, Serenite. Yeah, it might be a bit too soon for marriage, so perhaps we won't complete the um, second page of our aspiration. That might be a little bit further in the future. But you did real good, Serenity, and I know that you're really tired, but you did real good. You held it together. That was an impressive performance you delivered in that bush. Okay, before we go to bed, quickly go and take a pregnancy test. Oh, Serenity's not pregnant. Well, that just will not do. Call Caleb over right now. You're not going to get any sleep until you get knocked up, Serenity. Okay. Don't fuck around with me. Here Caleb is. Okay. Let's go woohoo. And then if you're successful, then you can finally get some sleep. She's so tired. Go and take a pregnancy test and let, let, hopefully you did it right this time. Okay, there we go. Now you can get some sleep. And we'll send Caleb home. He doesn't really need to be hanging around. He's done his job. Yeah, you probably should get going, Caleb. When do we have work? 22 hours. We need level 2 handiness. I mean, there's no way I'm going to get to level 8 of the mischief skill, but I can work on the handiness. We'll just have a quick sandwich, we'll jump in the shower, and then maybe we'll see if we can get you reading a book about handiness or something. Or actually, we could potentially see if we can upgrade our plumbing a little bit. Maybe, um... Oh, we don't have any parts, though, do we? Could order some. I mean, I need to get some medicine anyway. We'll order the medicine first. Oh, she already has some. Why the fuck aren't you taking it, then, if you're sick? Go take some medicine. Serenity's liberal use of medication when she's not sick has caused some unfortunate side effects. She was sick. Ah. Oh. Okay, we'll get some upgrade parts. We'll just get some common ones, some plumbing ones, and then we'll see if we can upgrade the toilet a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just because I'm only level one handiness, so maybe I'll buy a handiness book. There we go. Once you finish cleaning up your puke, Maybe you can go get your handiness skill. How about that? Oh, why are you angry now? Worst day ever. Oh, it's another sin with the high maintenance trait. Okay, fine. Why don't you go take an angry shit and then you can get back to reading about handiness. Or just see how long you can hold it. I wonder if she can... Oh. oh I was wondering whether she would read her handiness book while sat on the toilet. That would have been impressive. Like how Sims in The Sims 2 read the newspaper while they're taking a shit. Make yourself some hot dogs. Gosh, she's enraged. And I don't even know where she put the handiness book. I think she threw it on the floor or something. I've no idea where she's put it. Can we at least maybe keep it together just to get one skill point, do you think? Could we manage that? Just one skill point? Little Miss Enraged? No thanks, Welcome Wagon. It's not a great time. We're in a pissy mood. Oh, that guy was fit as well. Oh, well. Okay, our needs are good. Can we please try reading the handiness book again instead of going to kick... Do not kick over that trash can. That's right. Turn around. Uh, it's one skill point, Serenity. It's really not a big ask. Now I see why I left you till last. Pain in my ass. I'm just going to... I'm just going to put you in labour when you get that skill point. I'm sick of your shit. Handiness level two. See, that wasn't too difficult, was it? All right, let's have these babies. Our little vampire babies. Go on. Go and have your babies. We're having triplets, by the way, so maybe having three screaming babies in the house will make you appreciate how lucky you had it when you were stomping around the shop. She's emotionally mindful, yet still having uh, an irritable mood swing. All right, vampire baby number one, Vincent. Baby number two, Veronica. And we may as well stick with the Vs and have Violet. Oh, congratulations, Serenite. And I'm pretty sure they're all vampires. Yeah, because they've spawned. <laughs> they've spawned in their little vampire cribs. Oh, congratulations. So how many grandchildren is that now for Austin and Claire? It looks like a lot. 19. 19 grandchildren. Yeah, that's a big family tree, all right. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I'll probably take a little bit of a break from the Arlo family. But I'm sure it won't be the last time we see them. Perhaps we'll have a little family catch up around Christmas time or something. I mean, we're in the grandchild generation. Why stop there? We could probably 
turn this family tree into an even bigger spider web. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.